Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015, unfolded like any other day. An elderly couple, Mr. and Mrs. Nwogu Chinaka, like most people on that fateful day, woke up hale and hearty. They had everything they wanted to achieve on that day carefully planned out. This was in the lucky Phase 1 axis of Victoria Island in Lagos, where they reside. Unknown to the couple, they had triggered off trouble when they decided to have vegetable soup for dinner. Mrs. Chinaka instructed her cook, Victor Unkwe, to prepare the soup. Now, Victor had been in the employ of the Chinakas for about two weeks at that time. He was referred to them by a former cook of theirs, whose name is David Amusu. I get sickness, so they come tell me that I should go and treat myself. So I now come back. Come day with them, they work. They do the work small, small, small. After they come pay me my salary, I come leave them. Now from there, she come, they call me. They tell me that I should send somebody to Iran. Victor Ongwe cooked and presented to his employers a delicious meal. They ate to their fill. In next to no time, Mr. and Mrs. Chinaka developed severe stomach ache. Mr. Chinaka collapsed and passed out, but Mrs. Chinaka, though in critical condition, still had some stamina left. She called for help. Two of the security guards, who also ate of the vegetable soup, had developed severe stomach ache and had also collapsed. Help came and rushed all four to hospital. What could have been in that soup? Yes, sir. How many quantity did you grind? Ten, sir. Ten, sir. Ten. Ten. Only ten tablets. Tablet. Only ten tablets. Yes. Yeah. Now, after Victor the cook served the family their dinner, he left the house and the entire vicinity. I served the food I run come out. He alerted David, the family's former cook, and they both returned to the house when they felt certain that the poison in the soup would have taken effect. Mission aborted, they took to their heels and went into hiding, but not for too long, because the long arm of the law soon fished them out. Victor Humpe was promised a part of the load that would have been gotten from the robbery, while his role was to open the compound for David Amosu and his gang to gain access and operate. Effort of arresting proved abortive until he was eventually arrested through diligent execution and deployment of advanced technology by our state CID. After this, I, I get job for Ogudu. So Nadia, they will come and arrest me. So I was on a day in my house where they come with uh, Vita, where they come and arrest me on the night, Ikate. The Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Kai De Adiranji, offers tips on how to identify the criminal tendencies of domestic help. This is just an opportunity for us to actually advise everybody, most especially the elite, as I used to say, because we are the people that, are, that engage this domestic uh, serve, to avail themselves of all the opportunities that we have as a command to enable us to profile these individuals and subject them to some test, let me put it integrity test, and through this we should be able to prevent this kind of uh, incident. So just feel free, approach us, and we ensure that we put all these people to test. Thankfully, the victims of this attack did not die. Mr. and Mrs. Chinaka are currently in the hospital abroad where they are receiving further treatments.